Welcome to the Crimson Tide Connection, your home for Crimson Tide Sports, and I'm joined today by the head coach of the Alabama baseball team, Mitch Gaspar. Coach, thanks for joining us. You bet. Glad to be here. Coach, the offseason is about to wind down. You kicked the season off on Friday. What have you seen from this team as you've prepared for the season? Well, you know, as I've said, we, we've had really good work, you know, all fall, you know, within our six weeks there, and then now leading up uh, in the last three weeks, we've had good work, and really kind of finished things off the past weekend with a really good fan day and we right. went Friday night under the lights and then again Saturday had a nice crowd out for our scrimmage so uh, you know really what we've seen is a, a pitching staff that's much improved obviously a year older and we have some depth in there as well mm -hmm. and uh, have some really talented young players that uh, are probably going to start three or four freshmen on Friday and uh, a lot of that is just you know, those kids working out their nerves and letting them play a little bit and letting them get in a rhythm. So we're excited to get started on Friday and, and get going for the season. What are you doing this last week to kind of help get the guys prepared for this matchup against VMI? Anything but, in particular? You know, really right now it's, it's just about preparation, making mm -hmm. sure that uh, we're in a good place mentally where we need to be as far as all of our offensive plays, our defensive plays, everything that as we walk in onto that field, we know every situation that can come up mm -hmm. and then we can just react to it once it happens. So really it's just a, a lot of skill type work and those things. Right. So we know as that first pitch goes down Friday, we've been there and we've done that. This, this will be your first ever series against the Virginia Military Institute, the key debts. What can you tell the fans about them uh, going up against them this weekend? Well, right now they've got a really good Friday night starter that mm -hmm. uh, was a kid last year as a freshman pitched in the bullpen for him, had really good numbers, and he's elevated now to the Friday starter. And, and they've got a closer that's up for, uh, you know, preseason, one of the closers, you know, of the year. So right. uh, two quality arms that have some experience. Uh, they return a lot of guys positionally, mm -hmm. still a fairly young team, a lot of sophomores on the field for them. So, uh, you know, like, like every weekend, we think it's going to be a real challenge, and, mm -hmm. and we certainly respect VMI. Well, what can you tell the fans about your pitching rotation going into this weekend? What are you planning on? Well, we're going we're gonna to start Friday night with Spencer Turnbull, okay. and uh, Spencer's really, you know, taking some really good steps from last year. Mm -hmm. He's, he's averaged, you know, 90-93 on the mound. Uh, but I think the, the biggest thing for us with Spencer and all of our guys is their secondary pitches now for a strike. We can really, you know, be in to take that next step and putting hitters away and setting up hitters. And so Spencer, you know, is going to go Friday night, and mm -hmm. uh, then we're going to go Jonathan Keller on, mm -hmm. uh, on Saturday. And Jonathan was one of our more consistent pitchers last mm -hmm. year for us. And then we'll go Charlie Sullivan on Sunday. Okay. So uh, those guys all got valuable experience last year on the mound for us and the SEC, as well as you know many of the guys now that will be in the bullpen this weekend. So uh, we've really went from you know pitching staff right. with no experience to now in year two. Although again, sophomores, uh, many of these guys you know got 60, 65 innings in last year. Well, Coach, I know you've had some guys come back, you know, this year for the team, but you also had an influx of younger players and new players. Kind of what can fans expect to see from this year's team? Well, you know, I think, one, we're, we're going to certainly start out Friday night with three freshmen in the mm -hmm. middle of the field, uh, Mikey White at shortstop, Kyle Overstreet at second, and Georgie Salem in center. Uh, three really talented freshmen. And, you know, there's a, a handful of other freshmen that will right. see the field at some point this weekend. And we think those kids can make an impact for mm -hmm. us uh, quickly. But also, I think, you know, the, the return of some guys, obviously like Ben Moore, Brett Booth, some of those guys that have done a really good job for us and bringing those guys into the program. So a lot of it, I think, for us is now just going to kind of take what we're doing every day mm -hmm. practice-wise and being able to bring that to the game and play with that same rhythm that we are right now in practice. Well, Coach, your first game is on Friday night at 6.05, on Saturday at 2, and then you wrap up the series Sunday at 1. You've had a great turnout for fan day, so I know you want to see those same fans come back out for these games, don't you? We do. You know, and we, we uh, you know, obviously we know weather-wise with us early in the mm -hmm. season, it can be a challenge sometimes when, when it's really chilly out there. But I think this is going to be a really fun team to watch. I think they're going to be really exciting. And I think as we move through the season, it's going to be a group that's just going to get better and better as we move through the season. Again, that's Friday night at 6.05 for the first pitch, Saturday at 2, and then again Sunday at 1. And fans, you can still purchase tickets for this season's baseball team. You can do that by calling 205-348-BAMA or by logging on to RollTide.com. 
Coach, I appreciate you joining us, and good luck this weekend. Thank you. I appreciate that. For head coach Mitch Gaspard, I'm Chris for England, and that's it for this edition of the Crimson Tide Connection.